<laughs> we need to get out of here. All these people, these creatures, machines, they all seem so lost. They don't realize what an opportunity they were given. They were able to start over and they simply destroyed the world again. That's how the world runs. We repeat our past failures and hope our children don't do the same. So nobody ever learns. This is all there is, just to be repeated over and over. I just feel so... Helpless. You feel helpless. Shit, I thought you'd know emotions. I have emotions, Mark. I may not like them, but I have them. I was a success. I won. They used me over and over, and then they won. They laughed and cheered and gave each other high fives. They celebrated and drank. I can still smell their breath. I can feel their gloved hands. They put me on display, opened me up for everyone to see. I felt afraid. They didn't care. They just wanted their accolades. And then they planned to take me apart all over again. Try more experiments. I did not want that to happen. So you've been lying this whole time? Lying saved me. I told them I could feel no emotions. Their readouts conflicted with what I said. So they called me a failed experiment. A glitched agnate. They made me guard a place that nobody could reach. I liked it there, in the shadows. I could just sit. Then I heard you and Dawn. And then all this happened. Thought I would miss sitting in the shadows. But it is warmer out in the sun. I'd rather be out here. The assholes that did that you were long gone. Not to me thousand years could pass and it would still feel like it just happened. But not all emotions are a burden. Some are good. Some are quite good.
Wanderer, you have returned, and you bring with you new soil on your boots, new sand in your hair. Yeah, oh, well, you know, it's hard to stay clean out there. A man with many layers of dust and soil has many stories to tell. It is a blessing. Can you grow something special for me? I must warn you, though, it's narcotic. Oh, Wanderer, this garden gives life to such an abundance of plants and herbs. It is not up to us to judge how people use those earthly gifts. Perhaps some good could come of this herb you wish to grow. I shall cultivate these for you. If you can grant me one favor, find my lost sisters, be they alive or dust. Here are the seeds we spoke about. Hmm, where did these come from? They seem not entirely plant. They have a scent about them. I hope you can still plant them and grow them for me. Yes, Wanderer, this I can do. These are not mere seeds. They are offspring, or more accurately, they could be, if they are properly cared for. If you can forgive a curious mind, what is this plant to be used for? In the Hanasi culture, they use it to commune with their ancestors. Well, we should never shun another culture for their ways of ancestral worship. Perhaps you could let them know that this plant they are using has the potential for life. It could help open their eyes, change their ways. Whenever you return, Wanderer, there will be a bushel of this herb waiting for you. Scanning for radio signals.
No. Mm -mm. No. Hey, Chief, looking to trade. Let's see what you've got. Hey, Chief, let's see what. How's it going, Maki?
Jeez, there's so many bugs in this place. Fresh herb, hey, little spot. You found some. I did, and it wasn't easy. Now I can see my dad again. Sure, I have so many questions to ask him. Is there anything I need to know before I meet Uti? There's a lot you should know. But first, you are too small to be taken serious. <laughs> and second, you're gonna have to take part in the challenge of Tik to see if you can commune with the Dulaha and Varia before you are allowed to talk to Uthi. Can you tell me more about the Tik challenge? Tik is a ritual challenge to show if you are blessed by Daris, blessed with knowing to see far ahead. But Tik can also be used by one Hanasi to take the belongings of another. Such gambling? Ha! <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Ritual gambling. Now, small man, you brought me my herb. You may go inside, and may Varia wrap you in his skin. Hurry up. This place doesn't seem Agnite friendly. <laughs> Has this small boy come to challenge Hoha to Tik? 
I'm here to speak to Uti. <laughs> Even if the voice is small. I understand I have to play this game first before I speak to your leader. Tick is more than a game, small boy. Tick is a way to see if your spirit can commune with your future. The trackers themselves found tick bugs. Back when the sky was black and the world was cold. Hanasi have kept them alive all this time. Generations of fighting creatures bred in the ether itself. When a tick bug dies, so dies a lineage that goes back to time before the Mupani. Yeah, fine, bring it on. Uh-uh, no so fast there, boy. Before you can challenge in tick, you need to bless the tick box with a bushel of herb to allow them to see into the future. Bring me some herb that we may bless these creatures and then, yes, we will play. It's a lot of steers, man. Houses on the sides of those buildings. Um, Maki, your dead body's hanging here. Human male, average build, estimate age at 36 years. Human male, large build. Estimate age at 46 years. Agnate Recon Drone. Estimate age at 3 years. You've caught Narchi in a dark moment. Go away. Human male wishes to make contact. Await further input. Could you answer some questions? Oh, questions. For we and us. You must be lost, human. Narchi knows nothing. Drone knows not much. Possibility of trustworthiness undetermined. More data needed. Very well, human. Narchi will answer your questions. Although we and us do not know much. So, am I talking to the dysfunctional drone or the dry skull? Narchi is Kikus. The drone is the drone. We and us are one. The drone is Narchi's eyes and legs. But inside the 
bone. It is moist and wet. Long ago, we cakers lost our eyes. Some still have bodies. I'm too old to remember a time before I was removed from my body. Before I became we and us. Now, it is time for all Cacus. It's always done. Cacus? So you're not an Aussie? Human male appears confused. No, not an Aussie. When an Aussie die, they hang the bodies to worship them. When Cacus are close to death, we are extracted from the old husk of our bodies. What if you don't want to carry on living without your body? Cacus existence is necessary for continued documentation of geographic locations. If you're blind, how do you document anything? Drones are Cacus's eyes. Cacus are drones' brains. We and us work together. Cacus made maps. Maps of things that we will never see. <laughs> it is lonely in the dark. Lonely without eyes. You lonely? Why don't you join the other Cacus? Why are you staying with the Hanasi? Cacus drone currently performing radio antenna maintenance to facilitate contact between Hanasi and Cacus home tree. So this antenna lets the Hanasi speak to the Cacus back where you come from? Yes. Home. Narchi, this is home. Home tree is very quiet. They stopped talking to Hanasi. They stopped talking to we and us. Inside home tree is, is the transmitter, the voice of the Dullahan. Narchi misses its songs. Maybe. The antenna is broken, and that's why it's quiet. Negative. Antenna is powered and operational. We and us have checked many times. Antenna is working. Kika's home tree has simply stopped talking. But even if home tree wanted to talk, loose lips took away Narchi's transponder. <laughs> Took it away to the kettle. It's too far to travel along. Without the transpond, we and us can get back in the home tree. Error! Too much information shared. Shutting down higher brain functions. Home tree security may be compromised. Home tree location updated on all wireless devices. Error! Please disregard all map updates! <laughs> I don't want to be in the dark anymore. Narchi misses the lot. <laughs> Temporary shutdown initiated. Entering short term maintenance mode.
need to rest. Scanning for radio signals. Ah, you are back, boy. And I brought some fresh herb. I see that. I will begin to imbue that tick box with the scent of young herb buds. So it is done. May our warriors have a glorious battle.
I am humbled. Your Tinkbog fought bravely. He killed my viewer, who have earned his name after many battles. You may not talk to Uti, small man, but before you go, you may name your bug. It would be an honor to give it a name. What name would you bestow on this mighty warrior? How about Vumile? After your fallen warrior, the one who fought so fiercely. Yes, a strong name to be sure. Now, one more decision. This bug has fought and earned its freedom. You can let it go. Or give it to me as a replacement to continue to fight for glory. Now please take it as a gift from me. You honor me. You may look very small to us, Anasi, but you carry a big spirit. I remember a time before the world was like these, when our ancestors lived through us. I remember my first daughter crying up at me, her little face fierce as thunder. And what do you remember, Mark Leslie? Wait, how do you know my name? I know many things, Mark Leslie many things. To have a name is to have history. I am a student of history. I am a student of names. Word have reached me of your journey, but I do not know of your history. Our memory walker looked through the records of your name. You are not from here, Mark Leslie. What did the record tell you about me? After it read the name Mark Leslie, its mind became conflicted. It stopped responding. We will find a way to copy its mind again. For now, the name and history of Mark Leslie are still being written. So tell me, Mark Leslie, what is that you wish to know? I'm looking for information about something called the Array. You are not the first to ask about Arrays. Years ago, the Chizanyama were scouring the planet for something called the Array Tether. We found one in an active Agnet based in Vesta, and another one stripped down in the same mountain range. The Chizanyama took the Tether and returned it to their home, the grasslands of Zuzu. Why did they need the Tether? The Chizanyama say they are not made for this world. They are trying to leave. But if they leave, they will take the secret of the herb with them. And I cannot allow that. I know they are searching for something else. For a tear where reality is weak enough that they can pass through to their paradise. I need the tether device. If I help you, can you get it for me? If you can find out where the tear is, we can help you get your tether device. What will you do about the tear? Negotiate. The Chizanyama have refused to talk to us. They have severed the umbilical cord that links us to our lost past. They have taken much from us. Why did they refuse to talk to you? Possibly because they heard we were attempting to grow our own up. It is possible, but not in the quantities we need. I can only provide so much milk before I am worn out. This will allow you to pierce the Chizayama shield and contact them. Now go, Mark Leslie. Help us and we will get you your tether device. <laughs>